Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the electronic gear. The subject is uh, what is the electronic gear. I'm going to explain just uh, about just concept of electronic gear for customers who are not familiar with this function. Uh, so the simple meaning of electronic gear is to set the scale of moving distance against one pulse. One pulse the scale factor for moving distance. And by setting this value, uh, the moving distance becomes more flexible and actually it can be more various. So I'm going to check the one of examples today. So this is one of the examples for electronic gear use. There are uh, two types of axes. They have the different encoder resolution. Uh, like this, the first one is the 8 PPL encoder and the second one is the 16 PPL encoder. As we all know, the, the scale for one revolution is determined by the encoder resolution. So in case of 8 PPL encoder, the scale per pulse would be 1 8 because uh, it needs 8 pulse for one revolution uh, like this. In, this is the one pulse and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs eight pulse for one revolution. And uh, regarding the 16 PPR, in this case, it needs uh, 16 pulse for one revolution, so its scale would be 1 over 16. So what I'm going to uh, talk about is, the, is that at the same starting point, the same starting point, to the same target position, the same target position via same moving distance but with different encoder resolution like uh, this is the pulse or if it has the different encoder resolution it would be different the pulse the number of pulses would be different like this so I'm going to check this today So in this case, you need uh, different two kinds of pulse value for each axis. Let's see the this example. The same starting point. Same starting point. This is the starting point. And to the same target position. This is the target position. And the same moving distance. Let's say that this is is the moving distance and this is also the same moving distance but they have different command info let's see and they need the it needs the one two three four just four person because it uh, this axis has eight ppr encoder but regarding the 16 PPR encoder it needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pulses it is required to reach to the target position but the first uh, encoder needs just 4 pulse uh, sometimes this is not really convenient because uh, if each axis needs very different number of pulse like this sometimes it is very complicated with no electronic gear uh, however if you set the correct value of an electronic gear ratio for each axis you can
can make this. So at the same starting point, this is the starting point, to the same target position, target position, and the same moving distance. And this is also the same moving distance with the same command input. One, two, three, four, five. And this is also one, two, three, four, five. They have the different types of different uh, encoder, different resolution, but the same input. Sometimes uh, this will be more convenient to control various axes. Uh, this is why uh, this function is uh, very useful and uh, why we use the electronic gear. Mm, with no electronic gear, they need a different command input, as you see, different. But if you set the correct electronic gear ratio, they will need the same command input. So it would be uh, much more convenient to control very diverse kinds of uh, axes uh, that have a very different resolution.